Okay. Isang magandang buhay para sa ating lahat. Ngayon, i-discuss natin si Lucas Sequence. Pero bago ang lahat, please subscribe into my YouTube channel. Ayan. Lucas is a French mathematician who was born on April 4, 1842. Lucas studied sequence of numbers such as the Fibonacci sequence. This familiar series had first been noted in medieval Italy by Leonardo of Pisa, now known as the Fibonacci, but no one took much notice on it until Lucas. And then Lucas pointed out that the Fibonacci sequence is a special case of a more general class of sequences, where the third term of the sequence is determined by adding together the first two, and each succeeding number is then generated by the sum of the previous two. So for the Fibonacci sequence, Natatandaan natin, hindi ba remember, nag-start o oh, yun, 0, 1, 1, yung two terms are one, or are 1 and 1, which produce the sequence 1 and 1. And then 1 and 2, and then 2 and 3, 3 and 5, 5, 8, yun. For example, di ba, 1 and 1, or 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 5, is eight and so on and so forth. But Lucas pointed note. I uh, noted that many other starting points are possible. O nga naman, di ba? So one interesting sequence begins with two and one, which generates the sequence two, one. So two plus one is three. One plus three is four. Three plus four is seven, and then four plus seven is eleven. And 7 plus 11 is 18, and 11 plus 18 is 29, 18 plus 29 is 47, and 47 plus 29 is 74, and so on. So this particular set of numbers is called the Lucas numbers, and they have all of, of the interesting properties of the Fibonacci numbers, such as converging on the golden ratio, plus a few more. So the Fibonacci numbers are the Lucas numbers, or special examples of is called more generally as a Lucas sequence and he also studied prime numbers especially those primes that are known as Mersin primes which can be written in the form of 2 raised to n minus 1 where n is the any integer oh, any integer huh? so the total set of numbers that can be written as 2 raised to n minus 1 are called Mersenne numbers, but only a few of these are prime, and it is not easy to figure out which are prime and which are not. So Lucas R was able to prove that the number 2 raised to 127 minus 1, a very large indeed, is a prime. For the next 75 years, this was the largest known Mersenne prime, and it is still the largest proved to be prime without the aid of computers. Finally, Lucas was interested in recreational mathematics, even writing a four-volume work with the title near the end of his short life. He died in 1891. So one of the mechanical puzzles he invented is the Tower of the Hanoi puzzle, which is still quite popular. It consists of three spikes mounted in a base and on one of the spikes are arranged a number of discs, each one smaller than one below. So he, his goal is to move the tower of this from one spike to another in accordance with two simple rules. Only one disc may be moved at a time and no this may be placed upon a smaller disc. If the number of 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 this is small, the number of moves required are few, so that if you have three Ds, you can relocate the tower in seven moves. But if you have seven Ds, it requires 127 moves. And if you have 10 Ds, it takes more than a thousand moves. So if you have 57 Ds and move one every second, second it would take about 4.5 billion years to solve the puzzles, the appropriate age of the earth so good
So it is of interest that the formula for determining the minimum number of moves for the solving the Tower of Hanoi was the form of 2 raised to n minus 1, where n is the number of the disks. So the formula is identical to the, the of for generating Mersin numbers. So similar to the Fibonacci, each Lucas number is defined to be sum of its two immediate previous terms. So the first two Lucas numbers are L sub O, 2, and L sub 1 is plus 1, as opposed to the first two Fibonacci numbers with F. This is 1. Though closely related in definition, Lucas and Fibonacci numbers exhibit distinct properties. So Lucas numbers, so these are the Lucas numbers. Ayan. So these are the Lucas numbers. Ayan. So 2, 1, 3, 4, 7, 11, 18, and so on and so forth. So di ba remember, sinabi ko nga sa inyo, yun, yung katulad ng ginagawa natin sa Fibonacci, we add the first two numbers. Ayan, yung succeeding yan, 1 and 2, 1 and 1 non, di ba? 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3. Dito naman, 2 plus 1 is 3, o yan, no? So, makita mo lahat yan, yung mga red na numbers, ito yan, di ba? So, halos the same lang sila. Kaya lang dito sa Lucas number, we start at, nag-start tayo sa, one, sa 2, unlike doon sa Fibonacci. Kasi, na-prove nga ni, ni, ni Lucas na pwede ka naman mag-start kahit ano number, pero he chose, he chose number 2. So using L N L subscript N minus two is equal to L sub N minus L subscript of N minus one. One can extend the Lucas numbers to negative integers to obtain a doubly finished sequence. We have negative eleven, seven, and so on and so forth. So this one, di ba? Because if we negative eleven plus 7 is negative 4. And then 7 minus 4 is 3. So 3 minus 1 is 2. Oh, so diba yan yung kaya yung sequence niya. Our terms of ln for negative 6 is less than n and then less than 6 are shown. So the formula for terms with neg negative indices in this sequence is L negative n is equal to quantity of n negative 1 raised to n plus 1 L sub n. So, what is the relationship to Fibonacci sequence? So, the Lucas numbers are related to Fibonacci numbers by the identities for this one, diba? Yung ln is equal to fn minus 1 plus fn plus 1 is equal to f base of n plus 2 multiply the f base of n minus 1 or subscript. So, L subscript of n plus n is equal to L subscript of n plus 1 and then F multiply the F subscript of n plus L m we multiply the F n minus 1. So, ito yung makikita mo niya. So, thus n approaches to positive infinity. As long as the ratio is L n of Fn approaches square root of 5. Kasi pagka chinek mo sa pinakadulo niyan, makikita mo yung kanilang uh, makukuha mo yung value na square root of 5. That is, square root of 5 is more or less, makita natin yan, diba? Sa square root of 5 is square root of 5. So F2N is equal to LN FN and then FN plus K plus quantity of minus 1 raised to K multiply M F N minus K is equal to LK FN. So this is the formula that we can use this one. So FN is equal to actually this, this is Fibonacci and this is Lucas, diba? All over five. So it actually this is the formula pedi natin kamiten. Diba? So, these are the prime numbers na ginamit ni Lucas. So, a Lucas prime is a Lucas number that is prime. The few Lucas pr primes are this 1, 2, 3, 7, 11, 25, and so on and so forth. So, yan yung mga kanyang 
mga Lucas numbers. So remember, yung golden ratio, di ba na diniskas natin before sa Fibonacci? So ito yung 1.6 yan, yan, yan. Ito yung balance di ba Fibonacci? So ma-check mo diyan. Pag kinatent yan, di ba? Yung yung Fibonacci, yan. Na value ng golden ratio. Pag ni-raise daw natin sa square diyan, so we have 2.61803389, approximately 3, which is ayun no, yung 3 na yon, di ba? Pag uh, raise mo sa cube, we have 4.2360697, more or less, nasa, so, 4. Pag raise mo sa the fourth power, we have 6.85410965, which is round 7. Pag ni-round off mo, raise to 5, 11.09016994, which is approximately 11. O, diba? Para kasi pinakikita ni Lucas na para siyang mas close siya sa value ng golden ratio. Diba? Parang ganon. Yun ang pinuprove niya dito. So, to the 6. So, yun yan. 18. To the 7, we have approximately 29. To the 8, approximately 20, 47. So, actually, ito yung mga discussion regarding sky comparison ni Fibonacci at ni Lucas. Actually, parehas silang magaling, actually. So, na-prove nila yung kanilang mga churi na kanilang gusto ibig sabihin. I hope na naintindihan nyo yung comparison natin kay Lucas sequence and Fibonacci sequence. And the next meeting, I'll be discussing the Tribonacci. I know actually. Yeah. Tribonacci na sequence. Okay. Ciao!